Someone dropped their ring pop sh in the f beautiful sculpture. Good morning. <laughs> All right, what's up YouTube? Here we are at the Dragon's <laughs> Breath area at the Mud Volcano in Yellowstone. So we're gonna go take a look, see what we can mm -hmm. see and stretch our legs for a bit. Well, it's a sour lake. It doesn't smell sour, but uh, the lake's alive. The lake's alive. <laughs> Giving us a show. Let's see who doesn't get out of his way. So the goal today is to drive all the way up to Mammoth Springs and I guess make a few stops along the way, including this Dragon's Breath or Dragon's Mouth Hot Spring. Yeah, Dragon's Mouth Hot Spring in the Mud Volcano was a nice little pit stop, but we got a lot more to cover today. So we're gonna keep on heading out after a quick uh, grilled chicken wrap. Okay, well we're on our way up to Mammoth Hot Springs and unfortunately after getting to Canyon Village and checking out the upper falls of the Yellowstone, we uh, got a little bad news which is that the road up to Tower Junction all the way up to the Mammoth Hot Springs is closed. We haven't been that way before in Yellowstone so that would have been some new sights to see. Uh, but that's just the way it goes. So the road's closed, we can't go that way. Uh, so we're gonna go around the other other way. There's another way to still access the Mammoth Hot Springs. So we'll, we'll do that and uh, see how much time we have afterwards and what else we can get to today. But uh, just a quick update as we are still on our way to the Mammoth Hot Springs.
All right, that was an awesome sight. <laughs> we made the decision to drive to the upper terrace because our little pumpkin's getting heavy. And it's crowded, but definitely it's a lot of stairs with a 30 pounder strapped to your chest. <laughs> So we are at the grand finale of the Mammoth Hot Springs. The upper terrace is, the drive is closed, but we are gonna take the walk, which we would have anyway. Yeah. All right, this is how we have to deal with stairs anytime we have the stroller instead of putting her on the chest harness. All right, here we go. Zoom in on that nice big pile of shit. <laughs> Better than the ring pop we saw earlier. Yeah. That was enough hiking for one day, so we got a campsite in Wyoming 30 minutes from the east exit of the park. Our plan is to explore East Yellowstone tomorrow, which will conclude our Yellowstone adventure. Okay, well, we're just coming in from the east entrance of Yellowstone Park and we found a baby deer in the road, still alive. And we're not really sure what to do from here, but we're just trying to, have to call. get it out of the road. Yeah, so we just got down here to the east entrance to talk to a park ranger about the baby deer in the road, and it's unfortunately pretty sad, but yesterday a woman um, apparently picked it up and then the mom abandoned it, and so there's really nothing that they can do to help the deer or um, to, to move forward from here, so... Uh, it's just gonna have to stay there on the side of the road, they said. So it's something that they knew about and that there's just nothing that uh, we're supposed to do. So that's just, sad yeah, it's sad. Not, not the best start to the Yellowstone adventure today, but we'll uh, yeah, try, to, try to move on and see if we can find some interesting stuff to do. got to the natural land bridge and of course it started to rain again so we'll try to make this snappy. <laughs> As we were driving, we came upon a large crowd of people on the side of the road, and we figured there had to be a bear, so we pulled over to take a peek. Okay, it's hard to see, but this little brown spots that you're seeing right there in the middle of the screen is a mama and her baby. through Yellowstone. Thanks so much for supporting our channel. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with fellow travelers. 
We look forward to bringing you along on our crazy adventure through Wyoming. Bye!